uh, I think that change will happen when the people uh, will give um, value to the social and environmental impact. And it is said that two thirds of the change could be provocated by just individuals. So I would like that those individuals realize it and try to uh, apply this, this change uh, in, in their life. And then I, th I think that the one third left uh, will we, we'll just follow. Yes, I think that we should uh, change, but I don't think this change would be coming back, which I don't think is neither feasible nor a good idea. But I think that we can make, take advantage of smarter systems and better informatics to use, uh, to use existing resources in a more efficient manner. I think we have to change something. But uh, I think I, I stopped being too idealistic and I don't believe anymore in waiting of like change coming from like the state or country or big organization. But I think we have to change at a level more uh, individual, you know. Like everybody should start changing his relationship that he has with uh, nature and uh, ecology. And if everybody is making an effort to respect more the nature and the environment, I think uh, that's going to be a good change. Je trouve qu'il devrait déjà changer, individuellement déjà apprendre à manger un petit peu, un petit peu chaque chose dans sa saison. Peut-être pas prendre des, acheter des cerises à Noël qui viennent euh, des autipodes. Euh, et puis, puis s'habituer à, à, à manger comme dans le temps, ils avaient ce qu'ils avaient euh, en saison. Quoi. Euh, la plupart, la, la, la question de beaucoup de paysans est peut-être peut 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 pas forcément évidente. Donc de nous faire des efforts écologiques, Par contre, importer des matières de l'étranger qui viennent de, de l'Est ou, ou d'ailleurs, nous on part du principe qu'il faut tâcher de remettre à nos enfants ce que nos parents nous ont remis. Donc euh, il faut qu'on est obligé d'aller dans ce sens-là. Si on va plus loin, donc il y a le respect de la nature, le respect des animaux, le, déjà le respect de l'un vers l'autre, de, 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 des humains entre eux. Quoi. Et je trouve que là, il y, a, il, y a, il, y a, il y a beaucoup de valeurs qui se perdent par rapport à, à ce que nous on a appris, à ce que nos parents nous ont appris et puis euh, au niveau de ça tout, tout bêtement de l'éducation. Il faut qu'on qu évolue. Il faut qu'on évolue dans ce sens-là parce qu'autrement on va droit dans le mur. Of course we have. We have to change our society, our economy, our values. We have to change. The change will come from the university, from the students. Nous avons déjà commencé à changer nos habitudes et nos, euh, nos comportements depuis quand même pas mal d'années euh, face à l'environnement, notamment par rapport aux, aux énergies solaires, l'utilisation aussi de l'eau euh, mieux gérée, même s'il y a encore pas mal euh, de régions à travers le monde où euh, il va sûrement y avoir des problèmes au niveau de l'eau assez, assez importants. Donc je pense qu'il y a aussi pas mal d'efforts à, à faire dans l'avenir pour une meilleure gestion notamment de l'eau. I think it's quite a big question and uh, before trying to answer it, I would like uh, to ask some more questions. What do we have in our world? What, uh, what are our relationships to things, to people? And personally, I think today there is a, a gap between what we think we want and what we really want. So yeah, the first step would be on a personal level to know or to, to find out what you really want. And what once you know what you want, then the change has already happened or has already started. I personally am a vegetarian and I have been the reason for that. I don't advertise it as an option for everybody, but uh, it has been proven to be m more of a health choice. And uh, if you can eat meat once a day or maybe five times a week, uh, a planet should see uh, the influence, well, hopefully our children would, will notice that. What uh, we observe in the uh, area of sustainability is that there is a strong uh, resistance to change because people are, uh, people are more and more informed uh, about 
uh, for instance, climate change or other environmental threats. And uh, a lot of them are uh, really aware of the, of the problems, but uh, few make really the link between the, the threat and uh, their day-to-day uh, -day way of living. I think well, what we can do, I mean, what a university could do, what our role is to create an, an enabling um, environment where people can um, be can change and become inspired by, by others by what they've done. Because we cannot change people's behavior. We have to inspire them and provide example. Well, I think that we should change our manners and behaviors because of the global warming. As, as creatures, we are adapting to changing environment, which is normal. But with global warming, it's it's going much faster, so species cannot adapt as fast as possible to this changing in this environment. So yeah, we should change, but in a normal manner and not like being <coughs> really strict about the changes. We cannot go back 500 years ago, but at least in less developed countries we should go and see and let, let them learn how to behave in this kind of changing. Yes, I think we have to change. There's so many things that go wrong, especially environmental. The, there's garbage, pollution, air pollution, sound pollution, light pollution, uh, just the less common ones. And then, of course, uh, we need clean water. I think so. I really think we should change. And it needs to go from an individual perspective. So every individual needs to take advantage. and change his or her behavior. It can be small actions like buying things that are local, caring about where you buy from whom and how things have to be have been processed, taking trains instead of cars, going by bicycle, <laughs> things like that. And I think if everybody lived like that, it would change a lot. So I think we should change, and I think we should change in little ways like things we ourselves can do and not only rely on politicians. I think when we just rely on politicians and think they will make some rules, um, it will not help in the end if not only we also start doing something now and until the laws are actually active, I think we have a lot of global warming and other problems which are already are apparent now. So we should control them and draw back from them and do that actually five years ago, 10 years ago, which is not possible anymore. So start now, everybody. I definitely think we have to change our behavior with respect to the environment. I think it's important to have uh, different levels and not, not to say we, we, need, we need to work on this or on that level. We have to pay attention to where we have the possibility to change. And therefore we need a constant dialogue in, um, um, between each, each other and also a lot of respect and um, tolerance for other opinions. Well, absolutely, I think so. Um, especially since information is so available to everyone, uh, there's really no way I feel that anyone can be uh, kind of calm about the situation we're living in right now. Um, and so going back to the question, do you think we should change? Uh, our habits, definitely, I think. The first way is just being conscious, conscious of uh, the repercussions of our actions and knowing that um, if we do a certain thing, for example, throw a piece of paper on the ground, uh, just knowing the consequences of that and, and understanding what uh, would happen if everyone did the same thing. Not just yourself, but the fact that you're part of a greater whole and that uh, we all need to kind of collectively change our habits in order to improve something. And that doesn't necessarily imply going radical and going vegan and uh, walking everywhere. As long as you just change, uh, you know, five percent of your habits, that's, that's more than enough. Yes, we do need to change, absolutely. And uh, yes, what we need to do is to uh, use less resource. We need to eat local and we need to think global. So think about other countries, about poor countries, 
don't exploit their, their uh, resource, use our resource and just eat less banana if they come from 2,000 kilometers from for far from where you live. That's the change we need. Well, I think we do need to change uh, our behaviors and our manners. And I think that it's something we have to address on several scales because on a personal level we can make changes every day but it's not, it's, it, it will be these little daily changes that make a difference but we also have to change as a society. It's not just about what t types of modes of transport we take, it's not about turning off the water when we are brushing our teeth, it's also about how we structure our society at a larger level, at a larger scale and we don't just think about you know, where we go grocery shop, but where do, we, where do we put those stores? Where do we put the transport? What do we connect? How do we connect with places and how do we connect with other people? And how can that, in a way, make our lives better, but also make our relationship better with our planet? And I think the only way to do that is to accept change and embrace it and work with it as sort of as a family member that we're born with and we have to live with and we can't do anything about.